Hello and welcome to Valheim by the Numbers. Today we'll be taking a look at what kind of sticks you should be launching at high velocities towards your enemies. So let's go ahead and jump right into the meadows. In the meadows you have three arrow choices, wood, fire, and flint. Fire is by far going to be the highest damage option against all of the creatures in the meadows as well as Ikethir. Now at the end of the game when you come back the highest damage option across the board will be frost with the added benefit of slowing down all three creatures. However all the creatures in the meadows tend to have such low health that wooden arrows or pierce arrows will be just fine. Now once you get into the black forest you'll notice that fire arrows become by far the most damaging type of arrow with the exception of the mini boss and trolls both being weak to pierce damage. Now when you find yourself walking through the black forest at the end of the game the most effective type of arrow you can have on you is a carapace arrow. And if for some reason you're using arrows indoors, then the silver arrow will be your best friend in the burial chambers. When it comes to defeating Brenna and the Elder, frost arrows do by far the most amount of damage and should probably be used when cleaning up those bosses at the end of the game. Now, you'll notice that I have a heavy preference towards using wooden arrows in almost all situations. This is because I hate collecting feathers. The birds are annoying. I will make a special exception when fighting the Elder at that level because he takes a while to kill, as most of the bosses do. Now when we move into the swamp you'll notice that fire arrows are technically the highest damaging arrows we have at our disposal, however the fire effect is greatly negated by the fact that it is constantly raining in the swamp, actually making your pierce arrows by far the most effective. Now, when, especially once those arrows get promoted to iron arrows, those are going to be your highest DPS arrows in pretty much all situations. Now, when you start traveling back through the swamp towards the end of the game to go grab more iron, because you always need more iron, you should definitely bring along some frost arrows, as most things in the swamp are weak to frost, and anything that's not will gain a weakness to frost due to the constant raining state of the swamp. Now, when it comes to bone mass in particular, well, the pierce arrow, the iron arrow, is technically the most damaging. I wouldn't bother firing any arrows at bone mass unless they are frost arrows, since he is highly resistant to all forms of pierce damage, but is weak to frost. It is possible to get these frost arrows by preemptively going up into the mountains, and so sometimes I will do that, but typically I'll end up just facing him with an iron mace. Now, as you can see from the bottom of the page, I continue my bias towards laziness and using mostly wooden arrows. When starting off in the mountains, pierce is going to be your best option, but since the mountain actually starts unlocking a bunch of different types of arrows, frost actually becomes the most effective against the wolves and fenrings, thus making frost probably the best arrow to carry around at night. When it comes to the frost caves, I'd probably recommend using a poison arrow as both the olives and cultists do take an increased amount of damage from those. And the same thing applies to both motor and the mini boss, where you should also probably be using poison arrows. However, you'll notice my, again, bias for laziness, where I'll use almost nothing but wood, except when it comes to motor and the mini boss. Moving into the plains, however, my laziness starts to catch up with me, as by far the most effective arrows become the elemental ones. Running around in the plains, poison can be a viable option since it is by far the most effective arrow against the locks. However, against pretty much everything other than a growth, the frost arrows become the best not only because of their damage, but also their ability to slow things down, such as the fueling berserkers when you don't want them chasing behind you. Now, when it comes to the growth in particular, using silver arrows can be nice for dispatching them quickly and at range, given the amount of damage they can do. However, hitting them with frost arrows still does a decent amount of damage and can, has the added benefit of slowing them down. Now, still maintaining my bias for laziness, I'll still use wooden arrows for killing deskitos and often growths, but when it comes to actually fighting fuelings, I will sometimes actually take the time to go grab frost arrows. When you fight the boss, and the mini boss, both of which you should be fighting with frost arrows as they do the most amount of damage, the mini boss you can also use poison arrows as it's essentially identical and you can't slow them down anyways. Elemental arrows start to become a bit more necessary in the Mistlands instead of the nice little buff they were in the plains. With almost all of the bug units being vulnerable to frost and poison, I highly recommend using the frost arrows in the Mistlands, running around in the, at night in the Mistlands, in the infested mines, and against the queen herself. With the one exception being the Tick, which is more vulnerable to Pierce. However, Ticks have so little health that I would end up just using Frost against them as well. The one instance in the Mistlands where Frost arrows are not king would be against the Divergers, 
since the poison arrows do significantly more damage. However, this can be a little bit of a trade-off that you'll need to weigh for yourself, since frost arrows, while doing less damage, can also slow down their attacks, and having such high DPS, that can be immensely helpful. And with that, we have now covered every type of arrow in every circumstance in Valheim, and firmly established that the frost arrow is by far the best arrow in the game. So feel free to go down in the comments and tell me why I'm wrong and why you love the wooden arrow. Be sure to like and subscribe, that way this video can help out more people. And thank you guys for watching, have a good one, happy gaming, and best of luck in the Ashlands.